okay now i will start uh, uh, the class okay so what we are discussing i'll come back to the Now is it visible? The slide is visible. Can anyone tell? Slide is yes. visible. Yes. yes sir. Yeah. Okay. I'll 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 just actually I was trying to uh, uh, show the uh, desktop, but it's not somehow something is wrong. Okay. Anyway. <clears throat> now tell me the whether this animation is uh, you you can see the animation or not. That's uh, I'll have to see. Is it visible animation? No, sir. Uh, animation is not visible. That's a problem. Okay, that I have to go to the I think uh, desktop, no? Yes, sir. Just a minute. That was the problem. I am just uh, now. I can go to desktop. Now, is it uh, visible? The slide. Yes, sir. Yes. Now the is the slide visible? Yes, sir. Okay. Now can you see the uh, animation? Just tell me. It's visible, sir. It's visible. Okay. Now I will go. Thank you. <coughs> now, now uh, uh, today what I will do? I will go back a little bit. Okay. What we have discussed in uh, last class? Little bit I will go back. Then I will. Uh, continue. Okay. In case of any doubt, please uh, uh, in, uh, interrupt me. Okay. <coughs> what we have discussed in last class, that is the the different elements in combing machine. Okay. That is the feed element. That is the zone elements. Here we are talking about the zones. Feed zone. This is uh, nipper zone. Feed zone, nipper zone. Then this is the combing zone. The cylinder combing and top comb, upper comb, and then detaching roller zone, detachment zone. These are the broadly uh, four uh, uh, different zones we can divide. Now today, what we will discuss, we will discuss a different zone. What are the activities of individual components like your uh, upper knee power, lower knee power, feet roller? The motion we will discuss. After discussing the motions, the next stage what we will discuss the mechanism like motion we are we will discuss. Then how do we get this? motion through different mechanism okay they, that we will uh, discuss in the uh, third stage so three different stages we will try to understand the um, uh, the combing mechanism so uh, broadly what we have discussed in last class that is the uh, uh, different elements okay the or zones like feeding zone it consists of feed roller and this lab okay Nipper plates, nipper zone. 
अपर निपर लोअर निपर कोम्बिंग सिस्टम सिलेंडर कोम्बिंग टॉप कोम्बिंग वी हैव डिस्कस्ड एंड डिटैचिंग रोलर दैट इज द डिटैचिंग रोलर्स दे आर ऑफ डिटैचिंग रोलर्स आर देयर and the motion of this detaching roller is very complex <coughs> gradually we will discuss its epicyclic gear mechanisms are there and we will do uh, detailed calculation on this okay we will try to understand the epicyclic gear the motion i'll just explain little bit it uh, this rollers rotate clockwise and anti clockwise when it rotates uh, the, uh, the deliver the material at feed John, it it some it uh, for some rotates at very fast speed and then it's normal speed and when it uh, rotates backward again it rotates at certain speed. So this um, uh, rotation it's uh, there the it has got three types of rotation in forward direction like it anti clockwise direction. If you see it rotates at faster speed initially then normal speed. So. there will be detaching take place when it rotates at faster speed that is steering apart and then uh, normal speed when it will deliver something material and uh, when it rotates clockwise it has got some speed so that the material uh, it's uh, returned back for the overlapping we will try to understand that <coughs> and let us see the animation once again before we try to understand the now is the mission we you must remember one thing the nippers are coming backward this is the back side this is the front front side when nippers are coming backward it's closing down it closes at back most point it closes okay and when it moves up uh, forward it opens up that's the basic thing okay and the cylinder combing takes place when the nippers are closed okay the nippers are closed and it's not that nipper is closed for a fraction of so it's a, it's a for some time it will be closed during its movement okay and detaching takes place when nippers are open and at the forward most point so let's try now it's uh, cylinder combing is taking place now it's moving forward this is open opened up and that time the detaching is taking place <coughs> and we can see this animation once again we discuss this part just so yes to show you this is the uh, lap formation we will discuss in detail uh, in combing so draw frame lap uh, slivers are there from there we get a uh, this is the combar lap so that i have discussed it's the feed material for combing because directly we cannot use this slivers why we will discuss we have to form a uniform lap if we uh, try to use directly the uh, uh, slivers in the combing machine then we have some problem we will discuss <coughs> now see now nippers are opening up overlapping takes place now detaching is taking place now nipper is closed nipper is closed and during closing portion so it's moving backward it's closed and when it's is little bit forward motion it's also closed due to when the duration goes at time only the cylinder combing is taking place just to remember now closed and cylinder combing is taking place 
and also it's continuing and this portion the leading portion is totally combed and silt and the trailing portion is combed by the top comb this is the and whatever the short fibers are uh, removed here this is uh, cleaned by this brush roller Okay, this is a brass roller and now this is totally again clean and next cycle it's going <coughs> so that means when it's moving forward the knee parts are opened and during the it's opened and during the backward motion it's closed so this is the uh, system will We'll discuss in detail. Okay, and now, now we are going to discuss the uh, uh, total motion. It's I, we are not now discussing the mechanism. Mechanism we'll discuss after that. Now, the activities of each and individual uh, point, which we have already seen in animation. Now try to see. First, we have discussed the zone wise. Now we have broken the into different uh, segments now feeding zone this is the uh, these are the different motions and uh, there will be we will discuss 10 different steps 10 different steps in uh, in this total cycle and this all these steps together it it will have a one combing cycle okay now uh, and you should remember this combing cycle it's it's a very very fast combing uh, machine in one uh, minute one minute there will be 450 to 500 cycles completed in one minute so it's a very fast <coughs> so now let us start with the feeding now this is the uh, feeding uh, section this is uh, Combar lap we have seen lap support ruler and this is the feed ruler okay feed ruler and uh, Z zero and Z U these are the nippers okay now when feeding takes place nippers are open okay the feeding feeding feed ruler moves uh, 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 rotates intermittently that time the uh, nippers are held open okay that we have discussed that's the requirement now <coughs> second motion is nippers motion feeding took place now whatever material has been uh, projected that material we have to grieve okay if nippers are not open during the cylinder combing this is cylinder comb during cylinder combing what will happen this cylinder combing comb will take all the fibers it will tear apart all the fibers including the long fiber short fiber everything it will take so that is not our idea so we have to remove only the short fibers that's why <coughs> before cylinder combing comes into action nippers should be closed so nipper uh, nipper uh, should be closed so the nipper, nippers uh, the upper nipper plate z0 lower onto the cushion plate means lower nipper it's, it's sometimes called cushion plate but it's a uh, bottom nipper this is upper nipper now fibers clamped between them now next picture can you can anyone guess what will be the next picture here during nipping anyone can can anyone tell just try to guess the next picture anyone i'll show you the picture but can you tell me the uh, what will be the position of z0 and zu can you hear Anyone, anyone, can you tell? This Z0 will lower Z0. down up to the position Great. of Z. Z. Uh, Z. So that, that it will be closed, okay? Now try to see the picture. 
Now Z0 has lower term. <coughs> and this material, whatever this material we have failed, this material is ready for combing. <coughs> and it will comb. Clear? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I have some problem with the throat. Now it's okay. Now, can you guess the next uh, process, next uh, step? Feeding is there, then nipper we have seen. Now, can you guess the next uh, picture? What will happen? This is continuously rotating. At this stage, it is there. Now, here, now, now can you tell me? See, this will, this is continuous, continuously rotating. So, when it's closed, this will come in this big side. That means your <coughs> cylinder combing is taking place. Now, it's called a rotary combing or cylinder combing. <coughs> so again, we can guess the picture. The cylinder combing segment K mounted on the cylinder Z. This is the cylinder combing segment. Okay and which is mounted on the this cylinder okay and combs the fiber fringe this is combing the fiber fringe <coughs> and what you must remember this whole segment is not this whole cylinder is not covered with the cylinder comb only a portion, only a portion, small portion is covered. Now, the reason you will, uh, uh, it will be clear. I'll just show you the, uh, and it ca carries away anything not held by the nippers, this, which is not, which is beyond the nipper, the whatever short fibers, it will take away. Now try to see why, <laughs> This is not fully covered. This is cement. This is cylinder. <coughs> the segment is placed and it has got four different sets. Four different, it has divided into four different uh, sub segments. Okay. Now tell me if it is totally covered, the problem would be that. The, it will actually interfere the movement of the nippers and the this um, overlapping will be difficult because we need some space here we need some space okay you can see the nippers movement due to the mechanism we will discuss due to this mechanism nippers lower down a little bit it needs some space you just see it is lowering down and in that case Is it visible now? Yes, is it sir. visible? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, is it clear that why it's not covered, fully covered? Only one segment is covered. We need this open space for all other activities. Okay, we need this space because the space is very, very small. Okay, limited space, few millimeters. Okay, so that's why we need uh, this space and you can see the uh, and you can see that there are four uh, segments and these four segments, their uh, density of, of the wire points are different. This is segment front segment, then uh, second, third and fourth segment. Now, which segment will have 
coarser uh, pins and another uh, this one will have just i'll tell you this front segment will always have the uh, coarser uh, pins okay that means number of pin per uh, unit length or a uh, square uh, uh, um uh, centimeter will be less here so this will be coarser then relatively finer then relatively finer and this is very uh, fine we can see from the picture also it, it is showing it's a little bit closer because it will actually help in gradual combing okay gradual if at the initial stage if we have if it is reverse the problem would be that initially th this uh, fine pins and denser pin will have a problem of penetration and it may edge casual combing we have to have different uh, pin density otherwise we could have a single set of uh, one segment but it's for uh, to have uh, gradual combing we need Uh, different uh, pins of different uh, density and you can see here this is the thing so <clears throat> it has got it has got a different color coding okay and here it it is a uh, coarser and then it's a little bit finer little bit finer in this way we can achieve the uh, gradual combing and this total segment is placed on the it's the it is fixed fixed uh, cylinder okay the cylinder comb is a simple cylinder and based on that we have we are we fit this uh, segment this is called half lap okay it's a replaceable segment <coughs> so rotary combing uh, this is combing segment i have as i have discussed then nippers are moving forward now nippers at this point nipper is that the back cup portion now when nippers are moving forward as i have already we have discussed that nippers are opening up and moves towards the detaching rod you can see now <coughs> nippers are moving forward direction and it is towards the detaching rod and by that time detaching ruler will start moving backward rotating backward so that previously combed fringe is being overlapped with the newly combed fringe okay <coughs> now it is there so wave return is there as you have seen and there will be the overlapping so this segment i will just show you again so here you can see it is coming backward and then it's overlapping and then when it's moving backward and the tearing apart will be there and by that time the nippers were opened okay so that's the system then uh, the piecing means that it's a joining during uh, forward movement of nippers projected fibers fringe are placed over the oil that we have seen no up and down motion of the, uh, the top comb is there that also we have seen the, the top comb is not shown here penetration is due to detaching so top uh, it will when it is uh, during detaching top comb will come into action and the trailing portion of the fringe will be uh, combed by the top comb and then detaching will take place the detaching ruler rotates forward direction starts rotating forward direction again and now top comb has come into the picture okay <coughs> 
draws the clamp uh, clamped fiber out of the sheet okay and combing by top comb okay now uh, you can see again detaching roller now you just try to see the detaching roller and top combing This is the top comb. Top comb is fitted with the this bottom nipper. So you must remember, top comb is fitted with a fixed. It has been tightened in the with the bottom comb nipper. This is bottom nipper, and here it's a top nipper. <coughs> top comb. Bottom nipper segment it is fitted. This is the total. This segment it is fitted. Now it is. Uh, leading portion is combed now it is being overlapped and you can see that the uh, the trailing portion is combed by the top comb <coughs> so uh, now returns of the nipper assembly Nipper assembly uh, returns. Nippers uh, open for the next fit. Top comb withdraws. As a not in modern cotton comb, with, uh, actually withdrawal was uh, machine machine was there in the older type of machines where top comb moves um, upward downward motion. But in the modern comb, due to its very very high speed, it's the speed this type of. Um, upper and lower motion is not possible that's why it is fitted with the total nipper assembly so that uh, that is one uh, in modern uh, combing we don't have this motion and this is now ready for uh, new combing cycle so it is uh, when it's uh, moving uh, it, uh, it's returned and combing uh, that uh, feeding will take place so <clears throat> that now it is uh, ready for the uh, new combing cycle and the now last motion is that uh, combing by cylinder brushing so <coughs> combing cylinder brushing so the, when it is everything is over so the cylinder this cylinder uh, the combing segment has to be cleaned so that is this is with the brush this is the brush roller. <coughs> so all these ten steps, it uh, it is uh, if you put together, it's called a combing cycle. <coughs> and all these ten steps completes in a fraction of a second. In modern combing, it's about 450 times per minute. So in one minute approximately 450 to 500 such uh, typically you can see 0 0.1 second okay so around 0 0.1 second <coughs> it takes for one complete cycle Excuse now me, this uh, this is the movement diagram I'll request if you try to, if you can take a pen and paper and try to uh, draw this, okay? Although I have given and try to understand this uh, diagram of movement and it will be very uh, important. And in although you don't have the uh, lab class this time, in the lab, you have to generate, you have to draw this type of combing cycle diagram of movement uh, using the Missing. I will uh, now. We have discussed those motions are <coughs> explained here and with the overlap time. Now, total cycle it is divided into so 40 
index number. OK, <coughs> there is an index wheel is there. In the index wheel, 40 such. Uh, in the in the total index wheel, there will be 40 such uh, numbers will be there. OK, 40 different segments. Now let us try to see. It may be say uh, it, you can say it's a 40. OK, here. Yeah. Now we'll start with one index cycle one means that time cylinder combing is taking place. This is a cylinder combing is taking place. <coughs> cylinder combing. It, it is taking place means the nippers are at that time the must be closed okay so you can see that at 1.1 nipper is closed the cylinder combing is taking place from 1 to say it is continuing from this point portion to this portion cylinder combing that means it's up to say 4 or 5 index time okay index number and it started at the point say uh, say 35 around 35 okay so during that time that time nippers must be closed you can see nippers are closed nippers are closed okay so <clears throat> when cylinder combing takes place and nippers are at the back portion as we have seen earlier so that is your nippers are closed and then this blue line it shows the nippers moving forward and backward and this is nippers opening and closing black line is nippers opening and closing and this is nippers forward and backward now we can see <coughs> nipper is moving forward and at the this is the forward most point it's typically 23 to 25 index number out of 40 index number so to, uh, from 1 to 25 it's it's taking for forward movement and from 25 to 40 it's taking for the backward movement that means nippers during its forward movement it's moving little bit slower and when it moves backward it's faster because uh, in a um, uh, index cycle of 40 uh, 20 up to 25 it moves forward that means it takes 25 index number okay and from 25 to 40 around you know, so it moves gradually backward so then it moves at a faster rate okay so nippers movement if you see it when it moves backward it moves at a little bit faster speed that is the nippers uh, motion and uh, then cylinder combings action as we have seen when nipper is closed cylinder uh, combing is uh, taking place and when this nipper is started opening up nipper is closed and before it's oh, it starts opening around 11 index number around 11 index number. that means before 11 the cylinder combing should complete is its uh, activity so it completed uh, so around five uh, um, index number and then it's opening up nippers opened and then it's closed it completely closed at 33 so <clears throat> after that after 33 then cylinder combing activity starts so here 
it's started activity around say 35 36 it started activity and it continues up to say 5 so that's the cylinder combing <coughs> activity and that in the animation we have also seen this type of uh, uh, activity so cylinder combing we should remember it will uh, take place only when the nippers are closed okay now during the so for backward feed as we have seen have discussed for backward feed the feed will only take place during the backward movement of nippers okay now if you see backward movement starts from say 25 or 23 it starts from 25 23 and nippers closed at say 33 so that means the feed backward feed can only take place during the backward movement that means after 25 and before the close of the nippers because when nippers are closed that time feed cannot take place so feed can only take place when the nippers are opened that means from this diagram the backward feet in case of backward feet feet can only take place within this zone that means from 27 to 31 so that means 27 it's more than 25 the nippers are returning and before 33 that so between 27 to 31 <coughs> during that time the backward feet can take place now if we see the forward feeding forward feeding means that means nippers must be opened so for uh, after uh, 11 it should be uh, it should start and during the forward movement means it up to 23 the forward movement is there that means the feed can take place only between 11 to 23 that means the forward feed it is from 13 to 22 so after 11 and before 23 it should complete <coughs> so forward feed it's 13 to 23 and this is the detaching roller detaching roller it's the normal advance as i have seen i have discussed there are three motions one is return and this is the advance fast forward and then normal advance so this is the detaching rollers movement so detaching roller starts uh, returning from 7 and it returns up to, uh, to 18 then after 18 it uh, it is piecing takes place take place and then it is uh, moving uh, at the faster rate and during that time the top combing takes place so when it's moving forward top combing takes place and then normal advance means it is gradually it's moving forward and that time total detaching detachment takes place this is overlap piecing means overlap and then detachment takes place now <coughs> I will just show you uh, the animation once again, which will this animation. I will show you once again, so you can try to correlate with that diagram. <coughs> now, this total motion is divided into say 40 index number now here you can see index number one okay at the uh, so this is going on at the backmost port portion it's index number one you can just remember now one now it's up to five okay five it's going on now here it's some 
it's a uh, 23 around 23 now it's going on now it's uh, around 35 35 started and 40 and one again one so in this way it got so simply you can remember at the backmost point it's it's one and then gradually <coughs> now index number one two three four five six like that it is going on going on it's uh, around 23 24 it's 25 26 27 28 29 uh, 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 like that uh, 41 like in that way it will go on so when it's uh, starts from one and ends at 40 again 40 means it's again it's starting one in this way the index uh, number is uh, distributed and you can correlate with this uh, diagram uh, with this uh, animation with that diagram okay excuse me sir <coughs> sorry, sorry tell me uh, yeah so actually uh, i had a doubt uh, why do we detach the lab uh, in, uh, in the index is like why do we detach the lab why can't this be a continuous process okay detaching so suppose okay very good question uh, you have a lab okay you have a lab you have uh, cleaned the front portion okay yes. front portion you have removed the Remove the short fibers from only from the front, okay, leading portion. Yes. But at the back, if you can remember, uh, imagine it's attached with the lap, okay. The lap is there, and in the front, you have only cleaned by the cylinder cone. Now, <clears throat> now what will you do? That that's uh, end end of the story. Then we have we cannot have the complete cleaned sliver or complete cleaned material to free from short fiber. That's the very important question which you have asked, and that is the basic uh, uh, um, uh, understanding. Uh, that is the starting point of the combing cycle. Why is it uh, discontinuous? Until and unless you are making it discontinuous, you cannot clean the fringe from the short fiber. You cannot remove the short fibers. <clears throat> now, if if you uh, you can uh, uh, because in the class I used to demonstrate manually, you take any fringe. It, okay, you, suppose you take a sliver, you clean the top portion. <coughs> and by comb okay you uh, grip it and clean the top portion by by the um, by holding the uh, this uh, or uh, as can can i show you the video uh, okay just a bit yes yes Am I visible? Can you see? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now just try to see. <coughs> Suppose this is sliver. Okay. I am taking only sliver. If you can imagine it as a thick um, combing lap. Okay. <coughs> now I am gripping this portion. And see what cylinder combing has done. It has combed the with the help of the cylinder combing and removing the short fibers. Whatever short fibers are there, you can see the short fibers. It has removed. And now this is the 
position of fringe. Now, what will you do with this fringe? 